Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yesudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will look at the treatment of a very common skin condition, seborrheic eczema, with an agent that is usually used to treat acne, which is oral isotretinoin. It's called Accutane in the US and Roaccutane in the UK. The information for this video is based on an article in the International Journal of Dermatology published online just last month. Seborrheic eczema is a common chronic and recurrent inflammatory skin condition with a prevalence of about 3% of the population. It frequently affects those between the age of 15 to 25 years, although it can occur at any age. It typically manifests as red scaly areas in parts of the body where the skin is oily and often therefore affects the face, scalp, upper trunk and chest. It can be quite itchy at times. Dandruff, which is very common, can be considered a type of seborrheic eczema. Seborrheic eczema commonly coexists with acne and therefore the use of oral isotretinoin may be beneficial for both. Let's look at the publication in more detail. It was a retrospective study and included patients with moderate to severe seborrheic dermatitis treated with oral isotretinoin. A total of 48 patients were identified, of which 26 patients were treated with oral isotretinoin at a dose of 20 mg a day, and 22 were treated with 10 mg a day. The duration of treatment ranged from 2 to 6 months. Of the 48 patients, 45 responded to treatment. The most common side effect was dry lips or calitis. Other side effects like facial skin fragility were seen, with the incidence slightly lower with the lower dose of 10 mg a day compared to 20 mg a day. Here are a couple of patients from the study. This was a 34-year-old female patient with greasy scales on the scalp. On the right, we can see that there was a good response after treatment with isotretinoin 10 mg a day. The next patient had an even more dramatic response. This was a 45-year-old male with diffuse, oily, adhesive scales on the scalp. We can see an excellent response after treatment with oral isotretinoin 20 mg a day. Isotretinoin is a retinoid and vitamin A derivative and is used in the treatment of acne. Its effectiveness in seborrheic eczema and acne may be due to the reduction in the greasiness of the skin by shrinking the sebaceous or oil glands on the body. This in turn reduces the yeast malassezia that usually resides in the skin, which is one of the factors that causes acne and seborrheic eczema. Recent studies have found that inflammatory factors such as cytokines are triggered by malassezia. So inhibition of this yeast and the cytokines by isotretinoin may be beneficial in seborrheic eczema. When first used, some prescribe oral isotretinoin at a low dose of about 0.1 to 0.3 mg per kg body weight a day to treat seborrhea or oily skin and had good clinical effect. In this study, patients with moderate or severe seborrheic dermatitis responded to doses of between 10 to 20 mg a day with good clinical effectiveness. A randomized comparative study published in 2017 found that a dose of 10 mg every other day for 6 months had good results and few side effects. They recommended oral low-dose isotretinoin as a possible treatment option for seborrheic eczema in the face and scalp. Some may not want to use isotretinoin due to its potential side effects. The use of oral vitamin A could therefore be considered as it is similar to isotretinoin in its mechanism of action, but it's more natural. I've already done a video on this topic and it may be worthwhile reviewing it. In conclusion, the results of this research found that off-label use of oral isotretinoin could be considered as a therapeutic alternative for those with seborrheic dermatitis that is both resistant to treatment or severe in nature. However, it has an intrinsic limitation as it was a retrospective study. More prospective double-blind studies to validate the results may therefore be required. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.